What's up, guys? This is Ryan Johnson with MoneyBass.com. All right, we are out here on the lake and wanted to give you guys another quick tutorial on how to scan some ledges. This ledge happens to be right next to a point. So what I'm talking about is this area right here, guys. So as you can see, we have our shallow water right here and right next to that is a ledge. And you see how that goes from red to that black area right there and quickly drops to that green. That is what I would call a high percentage area. So whenever you see something like, like that on your mapping, it is always something that you want to check out. There may not be anything there, but that is definitely an area that you don't want to pass up. So all I'm going to do, you see my boat icon right here and this little red mark going behind it, that is just my trail. So all I'm gonna do is go ahead and just spin around and we're gonna scan this area right here guys and just see what we can see down here so over here as you can see we have down scan sonar and this is side scan so this is shooting off 80 feet to the left and we have 80 feet to the right and as you can see those are some real good images of some standing timber and that is basically right under the boat so you can see it right under the boat right here on this side scan but that is the setup guys on the right side I'm just looking at mapping and we are just gonna ease on down here. So let me just go ahead and hit the plus button up here in the corner. And we're just gonna zoom in a little bit more. And really what I want to do is kind of cut right across in here. Um, generally, I would make two passes, but for the sake of this video and saving some time, guys, I am going to make a pass right through this area right here. So generally, like I said, what I would normally do is I would make a pass um, shallower and then make one a little bit um, in the deeper water and then that way it'll give me some good coverage just in case there's any type of brush piles rocks structure or anything like that and this side imaging is what will allow me to see that all right so as we're easing up on the spot you can see that timber line has now dropped off and now we're not really seeing too much of anything on the mapping side we are let me just zoom in one more time so you can see I'm zoomed in now this is that area that we're scanning so I'm just zooming in on it now so I can kind of get the boat exactly where I want it to be and let's see this is 13 feet of water guys that we're sitting in all right there are some fish sitting right there there's three fish right there and as you can see that is that timber line showing up on the side scan and looking at the mapping we just went right through that area and this is pretty much what you see out there guys that is what the bank looks like and there's some grass over there so hey this could be an area where those fish would go up shallow so that is definitely something that I would take a look at if I'm wanting to fish shallow just um, hit that area real quick and maybe move on to the next spot but now I have made that first pass let's go ahead and spin around and make a second pass now the second pass um, what I would do on this one is just kind of go ahead and split that area and what I mean by that is let me just zoom back out for you real quick all right so here we go you can see that point is coming off this way and that ledge is actually right off on the side so what I'm going to do now you can see my trail where I came around the first time now what I'm going to do is just swing out here and just come straight down and kind of split that down the middle so that will allow me to see off to the left and right side of that point um, you never know there could be something down there so we have to check it out and see what we can see guys all right and just keeping a look over here this just gives you an indication that your side scan is set up properly whenever you can see all that detail and everything in there there we go you can see it a little bit better once I move in a little bit closer and this right here is showing us that we're using our mega imaging on our side imaging and we're using mega imaging on the down scan that's what that's showing us right here all right so now I'm coming right down through here getting kind of close to that bank right there we are now sitting in 18 feet of water 15 so we're dropping off kind of fast but all we're doing now like I was showing you just a second ago is we're just gonna head down here and split that area right there head straight down through there so that will allow us to see let me just zoom in again that will allow us to see what's over on this side and that side. Remember, as we're going in here, we're going to be looking 80 feet off this way and 80 feet off that way. Now, let's take a look and see if we see anything that's um, 
that might be productive. There's a ditch going down through there, but I don't really see any type of structure or cover on that. And the other thing that you want to keep an eye on is your water depth. Because as you look over there, you can see that we're coming up on the bank. So we are kind of close to that bank now. We're dropping down to 10 feet. And there we go. We're in the shallow water now. So I came a little bit, a little more shallow than what I was planning on doing. So let me just ease around real quick. Oh, there we go, guys. Look at that right there. So that that is actually some rock that is right out there. And it also has some grass mixed in on there. So just think about that. What I just did is I did not mean to come in the shallow, but by doing that, I was able to find something that I wasn't quite looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop for a second. Might have to make a few casts at that, guys, just to see what it feels like. So I'll throw something like a shaky head out there. If I was really gonna fish it, I may throw a, a wacky worm or something like that because there is some grass over there. But let me go ahead hop down here and get back to it guys i hope this information is helping you out guys and one other thing that you always like to see let me just go ahead and show you my settings so this right here on this split screen it is showing this down area where i have my sonar and my down scan those are the settings right there for my sonar and down scan and remember you don't really want to get set on specific settings but just use those as a starting point and then kind of adjust those based on the water clarity and the lake that you're on so now let's take a look at the as you can see it is on the lower side so now let's switch that over to the upper side and those are the settings for my side imaging right now let's see if I can get that in there good for you guys all right there we go so I hope let's see let me go ahead and switch this over all right guys I hope that information has helped you out I appreciate you for supporting the channel. Please make sure you hit the like button on the way out if you did not hit it on the way in, and I will see you guys on the next video.